Hello, it's Gaming Master. We're gonna be playing some more of Metroid Dread, and this is gonna be on hard mode. This is episode two. In the last episode, we defeated Corpius, we got the Phantom Cloak, we got the Spider Magnet from the White Emmy. We defeated uh, the first Emmy that we encounter, and we also obtained the Wide Beam and the Charge Beam. And uh, yeah, now we're here to uh, kill the Green Emmy in this episode. So that's what we're gonna try and accomplish today. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching uh, the last episode. Um, it got 14 views and um, left a lot of likes as well. So thank you so much for all of that. Uh, th really, thank you for supporting this series. Because, yeah, I did say that I wasn't going to continue the series if uh, I didn't get enough views on the first episode. But you definitely gave enough views. And I kind of knew it would because Metro Dread does really well on my channel. You know, you guys view the, like... All my Metro Dread episodes, all my Metro, Metro Dread episodes got a lot of views. So, uh, yeah, thank you just so much for all your support. I'll continue to upload Metroid content since you guys really seem to enjoy uh, my Metroid Dread playthroughs. So, yeah, thank you so much for that uh, support and support for the whole channel. So, thank you. It, it really helps. Um, but right now, we're running from the Green Emmy here. And I just remember that I have to go this way and not the other way. And oh no. Oh, I'm caught. Hold on. Counter it. Counter it. Yeah, we counter it. Yeah. Ha. Take that, green Emmy. Take that. Take that. Ha. Okay, so that's the Emmy Central unit. Oh, oh no, but it's a dead end. Oh no. I, I, I thought I was. I thought this is the way. Oh, oh no, I can hit this. Okay. I got really worried. Like, wait, what? I I can't get here. That that's not fair. <laughs> Luckily, I made it. But okay, now it's time to get the Omega Cannon. So let's just kill this guy here. He's actually really easy. Just, I'm just gonna keep shooting him. Don't even worry about all the things that are shooting at you. If you have the same amount of health I do, you'll be fine. Even on hard mode, I'm playing on hard mode. On hard mode, you take more damage than usual. I'm fine. I'm I just I'm I mean yeah now that we just use all your missiles and then once you're done with using your missiles then yeah start using charge beam shots then you can be a little more cautious like I am sort of doing. I mean I'm not being that cautious because I'm almost dead, but I still got him, so I was I got more cautious when I stopped using my missiles. Yeah, but yeah, they like I mean you are able to obtain more missiles in the battle, but yeah, I mean Charge beam shots, I mean, you, I mean, it, it's just, it, I would only use it if you're, like, out of missiles, because charge beam shots, they take a while to shoot, and, yeah, it can be difficult to attack, so, but, yeah, anyway, uh, we got the Omega Cannon now, so now it's time to take out this green enemy right off the bat, right in the beginning of the episode, nice, nice, uh, you know, exciting start for the video, uh, and, okay, looks like the green enemy's coming, there is. Come here, Emmy. Come here, Link the Emmy. I'm calling this guy Link the Emmy because in most Zelda games, Link is in green. So that I'm calling him Link the Emmy. All right, Link the Emmy. This is your demise. Take that. Bye, Link the Emmy. Sorry about that. I needed to take you away. I needed to destroy you with the Omega Cannon. And that's all that remains of... Link the Emmy, we now have his ability. And that ability that we now have is the Morph Ball. So now we can fit into tight spaces. This is going to really help us a lot. We can now fit into tight spaces. All those tight spaces, you're like, how do I get in there? Morph Ball, it's amazing. Yeah, I really like the Morph Ball. It's really helpful. It's been in many Metroid games. Uh, it's been like the 3D Metroid games, the 2D Metroid games, you name it. So many Metroid games. In the first Metroid game, it's in... It's in uh, a lot of the Metroid games. I think it might even be in all of them. I haven't played all of the Metroid games, so I'm not exactly sure if it's in all of them. I'm pretty sure the Morph Ball is actually in all of the Metroid games, but I could be wrong. But I think, yeah, Morph Ball is in all the Metroid games. So, yeah, and there we go. We just got a missile tank plus two. That puts us at 27 missiles. And, um, yeah, okay, it's also saying that there's some hidden item here somewhere. Yeah, it's saying, like, in this room, there's, like, a hidden item or something. Where is this? Where is this hidden item? Is it, like, anywhere up here? I don't know. 
I mean, I used to not really pay attention to, like, how, you know, like, the, the screen, like, a part of the screen glows on the map, you know, whenever there's a hidden item. Like, I, I never used to pay attention to that. Now I pay attention to it, but sometimes I just can't find the hidden item, you know? I mean, the pulse radar really helps. If you have the pulse radar, it's going to help you a lot with your search for hidden items. But I do not see any hidden items, so I'm just going to kind of, uh... Just gonna kind of move on because I don't know like where else I don't I just don't know where this could be so I'm gonna go I'm gonna leave now I'm gonna go out of this Emmy zone I mean it's a safe Emmy zone now but we need to go out of here because we now have to fight the boss but we can't because that's in a hot area so we have to get a suit that protects us from heat and uh, yeah that's how we fight the boss because right now we're supposed to fight the boss so yeah through. The, the, this door here is going to be a lot of rooms, but it's all going to be hot. So, um, the door that's, you know, right in front of us, that's all going to be hot. And, and But if we keep on heading through that door, there's going to be more stuff to go through. Like, a lot of, diff like, m some more platforms to jump on, you know, fight some enemies. But then, yeah, eventually you'll fight the boss, which is the boss, Kraid. And, uh, yeah, but we can't fight him yet because we don't have a suit that protects us from heat. So, we've got to go... And uh, get over to here because um, we were able to shoot through those walls with our wide beam and then get through the walls with the morph ball because we were able to fit into tight spaces. And now we're in here and now we can travel. Um, actually, we're going to backtrack, yeah, to Artaria, which was the first area we ever went to. And also, I just, I didn't actually didn't mention it, but we just got a missile tank plus 10. And so that puts us up to 37 missiles. So. Yeah, those missile tanks plus 10 are really effective. They're really helpful. They give you a lot of um, new missiles. We'll, we'll probably get another missile tank plus 10 right after Kraid. So, yeah, we're going to get a lot of missiles in this episode, hopefully. Because, yeah, I think when I first played the game, I wasn't really, you know, so, uh, you know, big on missiles. But now I'm kind of like, you know, we got to get more missiles. Like, it's important to have a lot of missiles, especially by the time we get the... Uh, storm missile. We're gonna need to uh, have plenty of missiles. So yeah, we got we gotta make sure we have that. Um, but okay, so yeah. Now that we're in Artaria, you just wanna like kind of just move on. Like you can't go to the right because uh, there's too much of, of a ledge. But you kind of just wanna move to just go on as if like as if you, like just like you we did when we first went through this area you know we went we just went this way just like we did in the in the in when we first went through this area and so yeah just keep on going to the left and also we just got a missile tank plus a two so that puts us at 39 uh missiles and we couldn't get that before because we didn't have the morph ball but now we do but yeah, so now, you remember this room, right? We couldn't get up here before because we couldn't get into tight spaces. Now we can, but we couldn't get up here before. So now with the morph ball, now we can go into this room here. And that's going to take us to the heat suit, which is going to allow us to defeat the boss, which is Kraid. So yeah, what I really like about Metroid games is that it's like you need to do something, but then you need to get one item and but in order to get that item you need another item and in order to get that item you need another item so i really like how like i really like how that works it's just it's just so cool it's such a cool like uh you know mechanic of you know the metroid series how like well placed everything is and i really admire the metroid series for that reason but um yeah and so we're about to also so yeah, we're about to get the, the, the suit that protects us from the heat. But first, we have to do one thing first. We need to redirect this thermal fuel here. And now, we've got to run. If you watched my uh, episode when I first experienced this, it's a big panic. So yeah, we just got to run. It's a big run. we got to just run. It's a big chase. Run. And yes... We've got to just, we've got to just go. we got to run because fire's going everywhere after redirecting that thermal fuel. And the area will become, it will become hot if we don't hurry. So we've got to hurry. Just run. Okay, we can't go there. So we've got to shoot this. No. Oh, no. So yeah, see, it's, it's very dire, very dire situation because the area is becoming hot. So we've got to hurry and run. But luckily we made it out. And now let's get through this missile door. And usually, I mean, not always, but usually missile doors means a new item. 
And yeah, you can guess what that new item is. Yes, it's a heat protection suit. And um, that's going to really help us throughout the game. It's, it's the main suit we're going to be wearing for most of the game. I mean, we are going to get another suit after this suit. But for most of the game, this is a suit we're going to be wearing. So, yeah, it's very important. So we've got a new suit. And that suit is called the Varia suit. Yes. And this is going to protect us from the heat. So, um, yeah, so there we go. So we've got the Vario suit protects us from extreme heat, but not extreme cold and not lava. So we're still, you know, we have to, we have to be concerned about lava and, and the cold. But right now we get to go on these very hot areas and we're fine. We can explore so much more now. And, um, yeah, it's, I really like how we can do this now because, uh, yeah, now we can just explore so much more. There was so much blocked because of these heat areas. And now we can, but... Okay, um, what, what I'm doing right now, I'm actually going back here and I'm trying to get hearts from uh, these guys. Because there is a missile tank plus 10 just where we were. So I want to kill uh, kill these guys until I have full health. See, I have full health now. So now we're going to go back here and get that missile tank plus 10. So I know I said we were going to get a missile tank plus 10 after create, but it's actually before the boss create. And yeah, we can actually, since we're now we're at full health, we can just go through the lava. And yeah, although it does damage us, it's not too much lava. So we can just squeeze in, get that missile tank plus 10, which puts us up to 49 missiles, and then we get out of the lava. So you're actually supposed to do that with the gravity suit, which protects you from lava and cold and heat and stuff like that. But... Uh, you can actually just T and just like get that missile tank plus 10. I mean, it's easier now. We have more, we have much more missiles now. 49 missiles. We started off the video with 25 missiles. Can you believe that? So we have gained 24 missiles. And it's only been 12 minutes. It's been that short. It's been that short of an episode. So you, your missiles can really grow if you actually try to like get them. Like if you actually really are trying to just go out hunting for them, you can get a lot of missiles um, in just a, in just like in just a, in just a few minutes. Like, like it, this took just this is just twelve minutes, and I've already gotten so many missiles. So yeah, that's uh, you know how you kind of just that's that's what you would call missile tank hunting. Or you don't even need to go missile tank hunting. You could just like just get any missile tank you see. I mean, unless there's a certain item you don't have, then you can't. But uh, yeah, so yeah, what you want to do now is you want to travel back to Cataris. And yeah, you just want to go in the same place you were. But now we can go through that door that was hot. And yeah, now we have to, now, now we have to just get to the boss crate. And uh, yeah, but we, we're, we've now got the heat area done. And we, we can now go through heat areas. Now we just got to get to the boss crate. And we're going to have to run around a little bit just to try and uh, find where crate is. So we've got to just get to the certain location. And yeah, I'll, I'll tell you when we're fighting him because, yeah, it's kind of a, a, a spot that you wouldn't really expect him to be in. You've kind of got to just, like, look around and just, like, go in that spot. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to go into. It's kind of hard to know to go into there. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, Samus accidentally went in the lava, which is not good. I'm trying to hit this, uh, this thing over here. I, I've never understood what this thing is. Like, what is that? It's like this pink thing. I don't know. And Samus, stop going in the in the lava. It's not a pool. <laughs> it's lava, and it will kill you. Please don't do that. <laughs> okay. Um. So, okay. I think we can't get this right. We need the we need like a yeah diffusion beam or wave beam. Yeah, that's what we're gonna need. Okay. This guy. All right. Let's just wait, and then boom, we can counter it. And yeah, whenever you see that enemy there. That means there's a boss coming. So, yeah, Crane's coming. But, yeah, it's kind of hard to know exactly where he goes. Because, yeah, this leads right back to where you were before. So, what you've got to do is you got to get into this tiny crawl space. And then you fall down. So, yeah, you wouldn't expect to go there. But you actually have to go down there. And, yeah, here is the boss fight. The Crane boss fight. And this is one of the coolest boss fights in the game. I have to say. It's a really cool battle. And I'm really excited. Because it's, it's so cool. I really like... How, uh, you know, Samus reacts to seeing Kraid. She's like, is that Kraid? This guy again? Because this, this boss, this boss Kraid, Kraid has been 
in it has been a boss in the Metroid series for multiple Metroid games. And so Samus is probably thinking like, this guy again? Like I've already fought this guy. How does this guy not die? So that's why Samus like just like she's aiming her blaster and she just puts it down. She's like, this guy again? Okay, this is like confusing. I mean I don't get it. I mean like she she beat this guy so many times and he still comes back. I mean I could be confused. You know? I mean, I'm sure, like, Mario is also confused as well. You know? Bowser keeps on coming back, too. But, I mean... And, and Ridley! You know, Ridley keeps coming back. But yeah, so does Kraid. A few video game references there. But, okay. So, yeah, now we've uh, hit Kraid enough with our missiles. So, yeah, we've just got to aim at his mouth. And then uh, after you hit his mouth, yeah, in the, in the beginning of the battle, he just opens his mouth. You get a chance to hit his mouth a lot. So in the beginning, you want to hit his mouth as many times as you can. And then this is the second phase. So he breaks one of his chains that he's chained to. Breaks one of the chains. Now he has a free hand. He now has a free hand. So that's going to give him more opportunities to attack us. And now we're kind of down below the arena here. And we've got to shoot his belly. It's kind of disgusting, but, you know, that's how his belly looks. So, yeah. And, yeah, he's going to shoot stuff out of his body. And now we shoot him with the missiles. And then he's going to throw, like, fingernails at us. I mean, he's just using his body parts to attack. I don't know, what, is he, what are these things coming out of his stomach? Like, what is... They look like donuts. <laughs> they look like donuts coming out. And then this water looks like, I, I don't even know what that is. But he's like shooting stuff out of his body. I don't even know what it is. Okay, oh, melee counter, yes. Melee counter, oh no, I, I, oh, no, I, I missed the, uh, the cutscene. I didn't get to do the cutscene. There was just like a scene, cutscene, I missed it. Okay, and I got hit down. That was too bad, I wanted to, I could have I killed him right there. Oh, come on, and I die now. I almost got him. Oh my gosh, man. I, I've killed Kraid before without dying, but that was on normal mode. This is hard mode, so I'm going to take more damage. I mean, that thing just killed me instantly. So that was really bad, but... Oh, well, let's try again. Like, when I first played the game, I died a lot on Kraid, but when I played uh, against Kraid the second time on normal mode, I easily defeated him, in, like, without dying... And now this is normal mode the third time. But this is hard mode. Yeah, this is hard mode now. So I've died again now. Second time. Okay, third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. We can do it. Third time's the charm. I know it. Come on, Samus. You can do it. Third time's the charm. You can take down Kraid. You can do this, Samus. Third time's the charm. Okay. All right, in the beginning, just keep on shooting his mouth. And then second phase. Okay, great. Now we've got to shoot him in his belly. Okay, good. You shooting this? Jump up, jump up in here. Good, now shoot him. Shoot his mouth. Okay. And his fingernails can, if you shoot the fingernails, you can get more missiles or, or and health as well. Or health, yeah, so this is actually important to hit his fingernails. No, he punched me! That did so much damage! Dude, did you see how much damage that did? That did so much damage! That was outrageous! That did an insane amount of damage! That's, that's, that's just mean. That did so much damage! How could you do that to me? <laughs> Alright, it's fine, we can recover. Okay, melee counter! Yes! Got him! Yeah, yeah, I melee countered him, and then we get the cool cutscene of shooting him. There we go, Kraid. You're done for. Yep, he's gone. He's defeated. Yes, third time was the charm. We did it. We did it. Yeah, take that, Kraid. Oh, you're going to shoot something at me? Well, guess what? I'm dodging it. Yeah, <laughs> that scene is amazing. And yeah, now his chains are broken, and now he is falling in the lava. So yeah, Kraid has fallen in lava so many times, but he's still... He gets up even after he falls in the lava. This is like he's fallen he's fell in the lava so many times. But he still survived. I don't know, maybe he survived this as well. This might not be the end of Crid. Maybe we'll see him again and Samus is gonna be like, How does this guy survive? Yeah. 
I wonder how some of these villains survive too, like Bowser, Ridley. Yeah, Ridley's actually from Metroid as well. But Ridley's not. Ridley makes no appearance in Metroid Red at all. Like it's completely replaced by Ravenbeak. It doesn't even show Ridley. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, we just got a new item. I kind of talked over that, but yeah, we got a new item. That's the diffusion beam, and the diffusion beam can penetrate through walls, but not ex not completely through walls. Like, see that? So, like, like, so some things I can't, like, shoot through. Some things I can't, it's, it doesn't shoot through walls. It only penetrates walls. And I remember thinking, like, I remember thinking that this was the replacement for the wa for the wave beam. I thought this was, like, the replacement for the wave beam. And the wave beam goes through walls. But I remember being like, this is the replacement for the wave beam. Wave beam's better. And then I was like, oh, that's too bad. There's no wave beam. But th there is a wave beam. And I just, it just came, it came so much later than the diffusion beam. It was like, I still haven't gotten a wave beam. I must not. I, there must be no wave beam, but there is. Yeah, the diffusion beam only penetrates walls like I just did now. Yeah, at least we can get some penetrating stuff now. But, um, yeah, so now that we're, we're we've, like, defeated now, Kraid and Katarus, so now we're going to go and dare on now. And we're going to, uh, yeah, so now the, I think the, the main thing we have to do is kill the yellow Emmy. Um, but there's a lot of other stuff we have to do, like collect some items, like we've got to collect an item, and also some, some parts of Daron have the power off, so we've got to turn that on too, and okay, I just made that dangerous jump towards that energy part, so once again, this would be done with like the gravity suit, you would like, uh, because the gravity suit protects you from lava, but of course, yeah, I, you can just actually cheat and just jump on and get that energy part, so... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you don't actually ha you don't actually need to do with the gravity suit. Like a, a lot of easy ways to cheat with that. But um, yeah. So and then I believe I think in the, yeah this room this room I'm gonna need the grapple beam. So yeah, I'll have to do that later. I might even need the space jump too or something. I'm gonna need like the space jump. Yeah, I can't I can't come back here for a while. Right, I'm gonna have to go. I have to go now. Uh, I guess I'll just get through this door. Yep. Okay, these these enemies I found to be really interesting. I, I like the like I like how they like attack from all sides, because then like you like you can't just keep shooting them unless you're from a really far distance. But like you can't just get too close to them because they'll like attack you. There are other robot enemies like that too. I like I like the robot enemies. I mean they're much easier once you get the plasma beam. But right now we have to like charge up our shots to to kill them. But it's much easier with the plasma beam. But okay, so yeah, we have to talk to Adam here, but I'm going to skip it because this playthrough is not like a story playthrough. So uh, don't watch this for the story, by the way. Yeah, sorry, I never mentioned that. But don't watch this for the story because I'm going to be like skipping the story scenes. On, on episode one of hard mode, I skipped the story scene. So you can watch my uh, first playthrough. Like I have two playthroughs, one playthrough on normal mode, one playthrough right now I'm doing on hard mode. So watch my normal mode playthroughs. Like you can view my channel Look on, go on, go to the playlist section, go to the playlist section, and then look for Metroid Dread Normal Mode, and click on that. I think it just says Metroid Dread, or it might say Normal Mode. So click on that, and then, um, yeah, you'll see the whole Normal Mode playthrough where I show the story and gameplay. But right now, we're mainly doing gameplay, it's mainly for, like, the challenge of, you know, playing on hard mode here. And so, okay, I see an, an, Emmy, an Emmy's door where we can escape the zone. But I don't think that's the right way. And now this yellow Emmy is coming. And yeah, the, this particular Emmy is very fast. It's a very speedy Emmy. And yeah, this Emmy is really fast. We've got to hurry because he's going to go fast. And oh no, this is a dead end. I need the grapple beam to get that. Oh no. Okay, yeah, this Emmy is really annoying because he's so fast. Like he catches you. And he, and like you've got, you've got to be always on your feet. You can't stop because... Otherwise, it'll catch you. It's it's so terrifying. We just gotta run really fast. And oh no, oh no, my presence is alerted now. No, Samus, move, go, Samus, go, move, move, run, run, Samus, run. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now, Samus. I think I'm gonna escape. I think I'll escape. No. Yes, I made it. No, the door closed. The door closed. No, no, get, no. I want to counter him. No, that's so mean. That's just mean. You, 
you just closed the door on me? That's that's not nice. That's not nice at all. You shouldn't do that to me. Okay, yeah, now we're not we're not getting our presence alerted again. Yeah, that was not good. We we completely got a, we we like the door closed like the, uh, of all times for the door to close. That was the worst time. Okay, good. Now let's get in there. And of course, that's a dead end. Okay. <laughs> All right, which way now? Which way? This way? Yes, this way. Yay, finally, the right way. Okay, I think this missile tank you can't get, right? Yeah, block, there's blocks we can't hit. So, yeah, um, they're, they're here. Okay, now that I can't get yet. I need the bombs to get that. Okay, yeah, this room I can't actually do anything with yet. I've still got to turn the power on. Like I've got to turn the power on in uh, in this in in this in this area of Daron. I've got to, I've still got to turn the power on. So yeah, yeah. None of the stations work, and I can't open any doors either. The the doors are either opened or not open, so that's kind of annoying. Um, and then there's also enemies in the dark too. Let's get rid of this guy. The nice thing about the diffusion beam is hitting enemies like through the wall. But wave beam is also really cool. It's too bad you get it like 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 at the end of the game. It's kind of sad, but you know it's fine. Um, and so okay, so I think we just we just hold on, which way are we going now? I think it's just this way, right? Yeah, this way. Well, it's saying there's a hidden item here. Okay, it's saying there's an item. All right. Uh. Where could that be? Maybe just kind of shoot around. I mean, having the pulse radar would be great because then I would like be able to like see exactly where those blocks were. Yeah, you know, I actually found out that I got the pulse radar early. Like, there's a there, there's like a because like or maybe or maybe or maybe yeah or maybe I or maybe I I got it late on the second try because yeah um on the second on on the second time I played the game I skipped the pulse radar and then I got it later so you can actually get it later or earlier it uh yeah so I don't so yeah it depends when you want to get it I would just get the pulse radar like it be as soon as I can because it's extremely helpful no matter how much time it takes I'm I would just get it immediately um. But yeah, so but just so you know, yeah, because there there are multiple like times where you can get the pulse radar. But uh, yeah, so here we can turn on the power now, and now we can see what we're doing, and all the doors are now turned on. And yeah, also this enemy here is turned on. I'm just gonna kind of ignore him though because he's dangerous, and I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna mess with him because he's scary and he's mean and he can kill me in one hit, especially with it being hard mode and getting like dying in like in, like a few hits. So we've got to be careful about that. And you know, instead, let's just get the bomb. See, there we go. We got the bomb. And now we can actually fight in the morph ball. Because when you're in the morph ball in these tight spaces, you can't defend yourself. But now we have the bomb. We can go in our morph ball and make bombs. So now we, we can defend ourselves in the morph ball. So here we go. We can get a, a missile tank as well. There we go. That puts us to 51 missiles. But we only have 26 at the moment because we used a lot of them. Uh, and you know what? Let me um, refill my ammo. Yeah, and my health. So now my resources are at full capacity. And now I also need to get the map of Daron. So let's do that. Why is like the... I, 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 didn't know, I, didn't know it took, I didn't know it took three hits from the, uh, the the missiles to kill these guys. I thought it took uh, like two hits. Like, like just like the charge beam. The charge beam only takes two hits. And then missiles take three. Wait, so charge beam shots are more powerful than missiles? I thought I thought missiles were always more powerful than normal shots. Apparently, they're, I I don't know. Apparently, charge beam shots are more powerful. I don't know. Maybe it's different for what type of enemy you're fighting. I don't know. I have no idea. I actually did not know that. Well, we learned something new about Metroid Dread, uh, and we just got the map. By the way, I just got that map now. So I think what we have to do now, we have to head off to a new area called Berenia. Now, so we've got to go. I think through another Emmy zone, and I think it's like at the like the southwestern area of the Daron map here. Like at the, like um, I think here. Let me just like 
you know what? Yeah, so I think I think I know where it is. Let me just fill up my hearts again because I just filled up my health, but then I immediately lost it again because it's hard mode, so I lose a lot of health. But um, I'm just trying to remember exactly where I go. I think it's here, right? Yeah, because, by the way, yeah, when you use the bombs, you can go in here and then you set off a bomb and you can, like, go through this cool thing. And, yeah, and here's Corpius. So, everyone, hey, s say hi to Corpius. Hi, Corpius. I know you're not being resurrected. I killed Corpius in the first episode. He's the easiest boss in the game, in my opinion. And I never, I, I only died to him once in hard mode. And, uh, but he's much harder when he is, he's resurrected, and then he's no longer called Corpius, he's called Z57. So we'll fight him much later in the game when we are much more powerful. But yeah, that's him getting resurrected right there. But, um, okay, so yeah, now you want to go through here, and we can get another missile tank, which puts us, with, with, which puts us to 53 missiles. And now we can go through this pipe. And well, what's I think there's something here. Yeah, missiles. I remember doing this on my first one and finding this. That's how I knew it was there. So that was 55 missiles. Very good. Okay, we we, we will definitely be prepared for when we uh, battle our next boss. So, you know, the next boss that we actually fight. I mean, it's actually quite simple. I mean, that's if we're counting the robot Chozo soldiers. I mean, if we're counting the robot Chozo soldiers, which we'll which, which we'll um, find in the in, in later later in the game. But um, the, eventually, we'll find these like robot Chozo soldiers. If you count them as bosses, then yeah, that's not the next boss. But the next boss that's not like a a Chozo soldier or an Emmy. The next boss that's not Emmy or a Chozo soldier is actually quite easy. It's called a uh, Droiga. It's quite actually an easy boss. I've only died to it like once, and I've actually never died to it before. I wonder if I'll die to it in hard mode. I might die in hard mode, maybe. Actually, I think I've died to Droiga once in in the uh, hard uh, in normal mode. Yeah, just once. But that's just once. Yeah, only on my first run. But anyway, so yeah, if you go through here, you can get to a new area called Berenia. And um, so now we've got to get a new item here. But I think we're, we'll probably end the episode in Berenia. I don't know if we'll get that item now because i want to make this episode a little shorter um but yeah so you just want to kind of just go down here actually i want to see is there anything down here no i think i'm remembering something i remember there being like a 10 plus missile tank here but maybe i'm remembering it in another maybe remembering it in another place i don't know i remember there being the 10 plus missile tank here but may maybe i'm wrong i mean i am wrong but <laughs> you know maybe i'm thinking about something else because i know there was like a 10 plus missile tank somewhere here um, yeah. You know, this, like, area, Berenia, is, like, the water area. It's, like, the place where there's, like, water e e everywhere. It's, like, a really, it's it's an annoying area on the planet ZDR. Because it's, like, you know, I mean, you know, typical water levels in platforming games. You know how it can be. Even in, like, non-platforming games. Exploration games, like Zelda. You know, Mario, Zelda, Metroid, you know, non-platforming games, platforming games. You know, no one really likes water levels. People find them to be hard. Um, I mean, at least I find them to be annoying. I don't know. I don't know about others, but I find them to be annoying. And what's this? That's okay. That's speed booster. So we don't have that yet. And okay. Uh, you know, what? I, I'll just try to run here. What? what? That killed me. That killed me. What? What? I. I. Did not know that could kill me in one hit. I had a lot of health. All right, you know what? Yeah, now I'm not. I'm not. I'm not joking. Now I was sparing his life. I was sparing your life, and you did not want your life to be spared. Now you die for that. Now he dies because he decided. Okay, I'll just attack him. Yeah, take that. That's what you get. Okay, here we have to talk to Adam. Adam is just going to tell us, you know, important items you'll need to traverse the water is the space jump, the gravity suit, and the grapple beam. That's, you know, important items we'll need. Because I remember that. I remember that from um, when I first played the game. He's like, you'll need the grapple beam, the space jump, and the gravity suit. I remember him saying that. Um, but all right, I think we should, we're, we're like, we should, like, end the episode soon. I think we should just, like, find... The big water area. We haven't found the big water area yet, so let's find the big water area. And then we'll end the episode. Okay, this guy, I really hate this guy here. 
The sky is annoying. He shoots these little tiny enemies out to attack you. It's super annoying. I really don't like it. And okay, so yeah, this is actually the route you take to get to Droiga, but yeah, you would have to get, you would have the grapple beam already, so you would go through a different door, because the, there would be like a gate open and stuff. It's a long story, but this is like near the area where we'd fight uh, bo the boss Droiga. But we don't have enough items yet, we don't have the items we need. So uh, that'll, yeah, that'll have to happen a little later. But, um,. Yeah, so now, um, I think, yeah, we just continue going forward, and then we'll find the big water area soon. And I think there's a missile tank pretty close to here, yeah, I think. Just right over here, yeah, missile tank. So you can climb in through here with the morph ball, and then get that missile tank, which puts, which, which, which puts us up to 57 missiles. And, uh, okay. Let's watch out for these enemies in the tight spaces. I mean, luckily we have bombs, but just, you know, just in case. You don't want to be in the morph ball with these guys. But that's why we have the bomb. I mean, it's scary when you don't have the bomb, and then these guys are, like, in the tight spaces attacking you. But, um, yeah, so I think we found the big water area now. So I think now would be, like, a good place to stop, because we're, like, approaching the big water area. So, uh, yeah, well, so we'll probably, um continue on from here in the next episode i guess we'll just try to find a save station here because yeah this is like around the place where you find the the big water area because i know this area so yeah here you go there's a save station right here so uh guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please press a like if you like the video please subscribe so you can see more of my videos and get notified every time i upload a video if you turn on notifications hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all later in another episode of a metroid dread hard mode just so you know um also if this episode gets enough views then i will actually make this a series i'm still not sure if i'll make this playthrough a series i might but if yeah the the first episode and second episode really count so if this episode gets enough views then i will definitely turn this into a series just so you know so yeah, so make sure you share this video to many people so it can get spread around on YouTube and get a lot of views. But for now, 